Welcome, mis hermosos amores. How are you doing today? We are going to be asking to the tarbot, um, what if they call you drunk, what they would say to you. This is something that we are going to be, look at that, do you see that? This is something we're going to be asking, oh my gosh, look at that. This is something we're going to be asking to the tarbot, okay? And also, I already have another video, which is, if you call them drunk, what they would do. So go and watch that, okay? If you are interested, but now we are going to be seeing if they call you drunk, if they call you drunk, what they would say to you, okay? So we're going to be doing three piles for this. Before starting, if you are interested on a personal reading with me, in the description box, you can find the links to my Instagram and WhatsApp. Those are the only places where I do personal readings, Instagram and WhatsApp. And my information, you can only find it on the description box, nowhere else, okay? Very important to, to know this, right? So we're going to shuffle a bit here on camera because there are some people who enjoy it, right? So that... And also, let me remind you that these are general readings, which means that the entire reading can resonate with you, can resonate just a few messages, and cannot resonate at all. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can go uh, choose another pile or go watch another video. It's a lot of videos about this uh, topic here on YouTube. It's a very famous um, question, so you will have no problem finding another video. But for now, we're going to do the piles, so you can choose one of them. Here we are, mis hermosos amores. <laughs> and let's see what this person would say to you if they call you drunk, okay? We want to know that. I'm going to give you to choose Aura Quartz. So for number one, we have the pink Aura Quartz. I'm going to put it close so you can see the beauty of these quartz. And even the camera don't make justice to, to the quartz because it's such a beautiful quartz like in person. Number two is the blue Aura Quartz. There, okay. And for number three, we have this beautiful, beautiful purple Aura Quartz. It's so special, it's like all around quartz. So it's really beautiful. So one, let me use like fix this a little bit for you so you can choose. Okay, there, ready. Number one, number two, and number three. Use your own intuition, your, use your logic, and use um, common sense, you know, to fit this information on your situation and to know if these messages are for you and how to fit them on your own situation. Okay, we're going to start. I'm going to start moving them. If you need more time, you can pa uh, uh, pause the video, right? So I'm going to move this. And we're going to start with number one, which is the pink Aura Quartz. And I'm going to be putting it right here so you can see it there. So let's start with number one. What? they um if they call you drunk what they would say to you okay so for pile number one pink aura quartz i'm getting some energy of you know um i think this person would uh if this person call you drunk this person is going to be like very like you know like from nowhere suddenly like a 3 a.m. calling you or 2 a.m. calling you, something like that, you know, like very, this is a person that is very, what is the word? A, you know, these people that do random things, very randomly, <laughs> kind of. Okay, tenemos, we do have nine of pentacles, okay? What they would say to you if they call you drunk? We have the, uh, the Hanged Man, and we have the Prince of Cups on the reverse. First of all, this person will tell you how beautiful you are if you are a feminine energy, even if you're masculine. Like, if you are masculine, uh, this person will tell you, like, how sexy you are and 
how much like attra how attractive you are you know and if you are a uh, feminine also like how attractive you are what they do like about you what they enjoy about you you know and also probably i think you and this person have maybe um the connection have a slow down a little bit can be because of you i'm channeling that you kind of like stop it a bit the connection or the communication in this connection and you put like a pause here right and i think this person like if they call you drunk they would tell you like ask you like why are you like you know like removing your energy from me why you are like putting some space why why you are acting so serious or you know it will be like some of this a uh, kind temptation yes you're a temptation for this person this person is going to be very much like if you see like if you have this person close to to your house or where you live this person is going to be wanting to go see you okay we do have say what you mean okay so this person drunk will be looking for answers from you you know they they if they call you drunk they are going to be wanting you to speak the truth to them and probably this person like on their five cents there they don't have the courage to ask you you know like what's happening why are you you know like moving away from me or why you're like putting distance or you're acting so cold with me and this person may not have the you know the courage to do it on their five senses and this person dr uh, drunk maybe get you know the courage to ask you this what, what's happening what i did wrong you know uh phoenix rising with the um prince of cups on the reverse okay so this person, I think this person drunk may want to, you know, to, we have wild. <laughs> oh my gosh. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have the four of swords. This is a person that, you know, I feel really strong that this person is going to mostly be about, you know, asking you what is going on with you, why you're changing your attitude towards me or why you acting the way you're acting i feel you're different and you my hermoso amor may not really but this person can see like it's kind of like perceiving a change on you you know like if you were removing your energy from them kind of and um, this person is just like being very wild like and very you know like insistent i see someone very insistent like answer me answer me why you are like you know like acting like this why you're like changing with me you know and i think for most of you you, you my hermosa more have changed with this person this person may maybe do something to you and they kind of know or they do know what they did to you and you know like they're kind of like avoiding avoiding the the reality and they just like acting a bit like dumb while while they're they are drunk and be like tell me what you have changed with me but it's going to be very annoying this is like a annoying annoying energy you know this person is going to get like very insistent and wild and then it's going to fall asleep <laughs> you have the four of oh, sorry it's on the upright this person is going to fall asleep it's going to get annoying if you see this person in person it's going to fall asleep like really fast it's going to, you know it's these kind of people that kind of like lose kind of like control of themselves you know so they get very wild but also they get extremely drunk this is a person that gets extremely drunk and falls asleep really fast you know so <laughs> this is what i'm saying so i hope this person does not call you drunk because it feels annoying like an annoying energy but if you have some time knowing this person and you already know it like uh you already have seen this person drunk let me know in the comments if this person kind of like gets like very wild and annoying and you know a, a, a lot of excitement energy and then falling asleep really fast 
this is the like if you were a couple with this person or this was your you know is your ex or something of that kind you may have trouble with this person falling asleep like if you two had like sex drunk uh while both of you were drunk this person may fall asleep during <laughs> during the session <laughs> oh my gosh that's i hope this person don't call you drunk this was pretty fast forward this person is going to be like why you change with me why you have been acting like this you know i'm going to get you one or two more cards to see what else this person would say to you you know because i think we have the, the star they will tell you how much uh you mean to them you know you're like very special to this person ace of pentacles also they would try to get you back you know and wisdom uh this is the priestess the high priestess yeah they would try to get you back they would try to you know to combine you to get back with them but i mean in a drunk state it's not really a good idea you know um but this person may be wanting you back i think this person st still like feel have feelings for you or this person is still still wants you back but it, it feels like this person gets annoying when it's drunk you know can be very annoying person when it's drunk because there is people that is fun you know there's people that get wild that get like you know um yeah like very wild but um it's fun to be around you know M make the drunk state very fun and there's other people that get very annoying this person may get like very annoying when they're drunk so it's what i'm seeing for power number one um if you are interested on a personal reading with me l go to the description box there you can find the links to my instagram and whatsapp you can only find my um i'm going to show you the cards you can only find my information on the description box, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, activate the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. And like I said, on the description box, you'll find my info and links to uh, my Instagram and WhatsApp for personal readings, okay? That was it? No, this one. So yes, my hermosos amores, mis hermosos amores. I don't know why I say my hermosos amores. It's like it doesn't sound right. Mis hermosos amores. Either I speak English or speak Spanish. Um, so mis hermosos amores. I hope you like it. I hope this was interesting for you. And I entertain you a little bit with this energy. And yes, be nice. And if you're going to be bad, invite me. <laughs> bye bye. And now we are going with numbers two, okay? So this is the pile number two. Welcome. I'm going to be checking for you. What, uh, if they call you drunk, if this special someone called you drunk, what they would tell you, okay? What they would say to you. Let's see, for pile number two, the blue aura cards, what this person would say to my hermoso amor if they call them drunk so we have the fool on the reverse this person may like initially may try to be funny or like you know do a uh, strength and we have the eight of pentacles on the reverse i think this person okay this is the the example because on the power number one I did get the an annoying uh, person, right? On this one, on, on the power number one, I give the example that is people that gets very wild when they are drunk. But there is uh, like two sides or two types of people. The one that gets wild and annoying, with, which was pile number one. And the ones that get wild, but very funny to be or very fun to be around with. And this is your pile. This is this is a person that is very funny. You know, it's like very it makes uh makes you have fun, you know, uh, when they are drunk. This person make you have fun. This person may get a bit crazy or wild when they're drunk, but they are really really fun. This person is like 
uh, can try to make you um, laugh, have a, a good conversation with you, you know, be be funny, be nice, make make you feel comfortable, kind of. Although it's not very comfortable being sober around drunk people. I have been there and it's not comfortable. But, you know, they may try to to not make you feel so uncomfortable around them. Now, what I'm seeing here, what they would tell you if um, they get drunk. I think, I think you and this person haven't had a relationship or at least a stable relationship you can be friends you can be friends with benefits you can be some of this kind but i do not see for this pile i do not see a you know um stable relationship neither now neither on the past and i think this person we have have faith okay let me get the other two and then I finish uh, the reading, right? So we have um, Ho in the Soul on the reverse. And we do have uh, Unleash Your Creativity, okay? This was, on. I feel like us upright. This person may be very, yes, this is a very funny person to be around with. Sexuality. This person may get, you know what? I think mostly here is masculine energies asking for a feminine energy, you know, because it gives me a very feminine energy, this person. This person is like, um, can be very sensual when they are drunk. They are fun, okay? This is a fun person to be around when they are drunk. This is a very fun person. This is a person that... Um, this is a person that makes funny the moment or, or makes fun, you know, the moment. But also this is this person you're asking about have a very sensual energy. And maybe they do not realize how sensual they can be. Even when they are trying to be funny or fun, they, they like radiate this sensual energy, you know. Um, these very sexy energies, I, that's the why it's a very feminine energy. That's why I'm thinking you can be like woman asking for another woman or a man asking for a woman, right? Is what I'm getting because it's very sensual. And this is a, you know what I'm saying? I'm having a vision right now. This is a person that can be drunk and can start, you know, like a bit of playing around and then kind of like between playing around and having these kind of like games uh start to you know to do very sensual things like for example um if they drop something you know have a very sensual picking up that something they um they drop but it's a mixture of actually also like cuteness it's like cute with sensual, with a very sexual energy. Um, it's very, you know, like this one, this person likes to flirt. So it's someone that flirts with you, looks at you right into the eye, you know, and this person may, may, is it's pretty weird because gives the sensation of someone that can be very, very drunk, you know, and you see them very drunk, but it's like if they were able to control uh, how drunk they are and still do what, you know, like certain things they want to do. It's a, a curious energy, right? Um, someone that can still be able to a bit manipulate the situation towards their benefit, even drunk, you know? And, but this is a, per, but it's not like a devil energy or like a, you know, like a malicious energy. It's a fun energy. It's a, a person that do it because they like to kind of like have fun, enjoy the moment, but also can be like a very curious person, very creative person, experimental person, you know. And even drunk, they have this ability to see how people uh, react 
to the things they do. Um, this is a very, very smart person. And this is like smart, I would say not smart, wise, very wise person that knows how to, you know, to, to do stuff and knows how to have fun and how to combi combine all this together. It's a very, you know, interesting. I really, this really caught my attention. Interesting, very interesting. But also I feel like this person, it depends on your answers of their questions. I don't feel like this person asks questions. I feel more like this person may do certain things or start a conversation about certain things, you know, kind of like opening the conversation towards uh, the type of communication they want in a way that they can get out of you the answer they want without asking. I don't know if I'm explaining myself. So I don't see this person asking questions very, um, very directly, you know? It's more like on an indirect way, the way this person like ask the questions or speaks towards you. Let's see, I'm going to change this because It annoy, annoys me when, you know, the candles are, like, turned off. So, yes. I'm kind of, like, doing a mess here, but it's okay. Ah! There! Now, <laughs> now I have wax on my hands. I'm just going to turn that, okay? So, yes, this is a very, very, like, uh, I feel like someone very fast mentally. This is someone very, very fast mentally. So that's what I'm seeing here. Um, I don't know. It's it's curious. It it feels like a very curious energy. Um, let's see. I'm going to, to check the tarot and see. Oh, look at that. This is a very this is a very sweet person also. It's like cute, sweet person also. Or this person may have a very sweet um energy now if you're not asking for a feminine and you're asking for a masculine then you can kind of like flip the information i'm giving but i do like i do um channel a very feminine energy the sor the ace of swords on the reverse this person may may have a trouble speaking when they are drunk is what i'm seeing So maybe you're, you're going to be like trying to put attention to this person like, what? What are you saying? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, this is what, like what they would say to you. It's like this person is going to question you in a way that I think will be very funny because, because they're drunk. They're thinking you're not, you know, like they're... They're go getting away, you know, with, with this trick of um, asking you things without asking you. But because they are drunk, they may make it very obvious. And I feel like, but I feel like this is like in a fun way. You're going to be like laughing inside. That's why I think most of uh, people watching this poll is a masculine because you're going to think she's so freaking cute. Like, oh my gosh, she thinks she's like getting away with this technique and she is like used to being cute, you know? I also, I feel like this person you're asking about use a lot their body movement to seduce and also to, you know, It's like a seductive person that kind of like seduces to get what they want in a very uh, distracting way. Like can distract people a lot with their, uh, this sexual energy. And also they're like sending these um, sex sexual messages without saying anything, you know, or without proposing anything. It's just like... This is a flirty person. This is a person that flirts, that, you know, is a very flirty person. And I feel I do get a very cute, fun energy from this person. So that's for power number two. It's like this would not, this person would not say anything to you. Maybe if you, I'm going, you know what, I'm curious. I'm going to ask if you ask them, like if they are drunk 
and you start asking questions to them that you want to know or you start like trying to get information from them that you want to know how they will react or how they what they would tell you right so we have the tree of pentacles we have the moon and we have the ten of staves this person would not give like concrete answers you know this is a person that goes from one side to another really fast and they don't give you like straightforward answers even drunk you know like even more when this person is drunk they would not give you and i feel like they do this conscious even that they are drunk they may be doing this conscious we have take off your mask on the reverse yeah this person may uh, you know like we have pride on the reverse and we do have um, home on the reverse also yes this person is it doesn't this person don't give straightforward answers this person may be making you guess different things you know this person may speak on double sense a lot when they are drunk and they leave you guessing like what does that mean you know and they just get away with 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 these answers very like not straightforward and very confusing answers even you know what i see that this person drunk you may ask them something and they answer you something very different like how old are you and they'll be like oh look there's a, a something over there let's go see you know like this is like a person that also can get distracted very easy and when they are drunk they do not focus on serious things you know they're just like playing around and having fun is what i'm getting so this person may give you very confusing answers if you try to you know to ask them questions while they are drunk so <laughs> this person may leave you even more confused if you <laughs> if you ask them questions this is very fun i i do love this energy it's a very fun energy um i don't know this this is a a fun person to be around and you even like far from be mad i see you my hermoso amor like laughing like what <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> oh my gosh uh this sounds so like me <laughs> If you are asking for me, that's not fair, okay? <laughs> you say because it's like I'm describing me. I don't know when I'm drunk. I'm pretty much like that. Um, but I mean, it's not a point, right? That that's like personal thing. But I hope you like it. If you are interested on a personal reading with me, in the description box you can find the links to my Instagram and WhatsApp where i do personal readings okay don't forget to subscribe activate the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos and leave me your comment what you think how you feel and if this resonates okay uh, i hope you like it maybe if you are the feminine energy maybe you are like this too let me know in the comments if you are like this and yes be nice be good and if you're going to be bad invite me bye bye <laughs> And now we are going with number three. Okay, let's go with number three. So, hello, mis hermosos amores. We are here with number three. And we are going to be checking, asking to the tarot if this person called you drunk, what they would say to you. You know, um, let's see. I don't know why I feel like speaking Spanish. Like on the first one, I, I, I say like few words on Spanish, Spanglish. And they told me to do this. So I guess let's just do this. Okay. For number three. I don't know why, but here we are. Okay. Whoop, there. One, two, and three. Here we have your cards. So let's see, if this person called you drunk, what they would say to you? Princess of Swords. This is a person that can get a bit... Okay, I do not see someone aggressive, but can be very, you know, like sharp when they are drunk. 
uh, staves, princess of staves. And we do have a ten of pentacles on the reverse. Yeah, this is a person that can get a bit sharp when they are drunk. Like this person can get sharp and this person may call you in a form of, you know, like why you are acting like this or why you are doing that or, you know, like telling you what. I think this person uh, don't say much, but them drunk gives them the courage to reclaim what they don't like, uh, certain things they don't like about you that you do or you, you know, that, that you do. And this person, if they call you drunk, they may be like, I don't like when you do this and when you do that, do, 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 do. It's like this person gets pretty sharp and with a an, uh, sharp attitude too when they are drunk. Let's see uh, what else do, do we see, do I see? So I see this person calling you but to reclaim, to be like, I don't like when you do that and I don't like when you do that other thing. Help from above, okay? We do have uh, rejection and we do have uh, procrastination. Yes, I feel like we have the selling out, curious, on the reverse, you know? This person may get a bit like, feel po powerful, powerful? I don't know if I say it wrong, powerful powerful when they are drunk you know this may be a person that um they do not speak a lot what they think or what they feel or they do not like express themselves that much and they feel so very confident and with a lot of power when they are drunk and you know this person may uh, uh be very like saying what they never say when they are sober you know they will be saying like drunk they will be saying what they do not say when they are they are sober so this person like i said is going to be like i don't like this and i don't like that and you know why you are doing that and a bit of like reclaiming i hope this person don't call you drunk because it's not a nice energy we have to remember that People, when people is drunk, people can get a bit um, uncomfortable to be around, especially if you are on your five cents, you know? And if you are drunk, there's people that get aggressive and feel like with a lot of power when they are drunk, you know? And there's people that just gets funny and people that gets annoying. And this is a person that feels like very powerful when they are drunk. And they do speak what they don't speak uh, on their five senses when they are drunk. So I really hope this person don't call you drunk. Like, you, it seems like a pain on, on on the butt. This person, like, oh my gosh, I don't have time for that. Uh, speak to me when you are sober. Let's see you tomorrow. And this person may be like the type of people that calls, calls you over and over again until they you know they finish reclaiming all they want to reclaim this is like the 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 person that keeps calling you know that if they call you like 3 a.m and you'll be like let me sleep you know like go to sleep or i don't know go do something else this person is going to keep calling you this is the type of person that you're going to find like 10 10 or like 20 miss miss it calls in the morning of this person uh they get a bit annoying when they are drunk you know um until probably they fall asleep or they get bored but this person is going to call you when the party is over you know this person may go out with friends get drunk have fun and once they are like home drunk with nothing to do they're going to start looking what to do and they're like going to call you or whatever when they are drunk. Also have to remember, depends on the situation. Usually people do this kind of stuff when they are drunk, when it's a complicated thing going on. 
So maybe this person is not like that all the time. Maybe just right now you are going through a complicated situation with this person and this will be the reaction of that person because of the complicated situation going on. So also can be that, right? Maybe this person is, is not like that. Like it's not like the a bit aggressive type of person is just the the situation because yes yeah, sometimes the situations we have with certain people make us react on a different um ways but i don't know to me this is a bit annoying <laughs> a bit annoying energy like i hope this person don't call you drunk like i really hope so because I don't, I, I don't have patience, for example, myself. I do not have patience for this. I'm like, I oh, don't know. <laughs> um, yes, it's like a big turn off. But yes, I hope you like it. I hope this was entertaining. And let me know uh, if you want a personal reading with me. On the description box, you can find the links for that. And let me know in the comments if this resonates, if you have seen this person drunk before, if acts like this, right? So don't forget to give thumbs up, subscribe, da, 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 da. subscribe, <laughs> and leave me your comment, activate the bell button, okay? I hope you like it, be nice, be good, and if you're going to be bad, invite me. Bye-bye.